Let's talk about the limited run thing, because a lot has actually been going on since I had my uh, discussion with limited run. Um, actually, you kind of brought it to my attention. Did you um, have anything you want to say about limited run, like the whole thing that's been going on with them lately? Or Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people had problems getting a copy of Wonder Boy, mm-hmm. but I, I honestly didn't. I couldn't really complain. I did have a problem with getting a copy of Night Trap. Right. So and... were you unable to get one or? Yeah, and it was it was bizarre because um, I usually have to do the afternoon sell through because yeah. I'm at work during the day and I usually have I'm nowhere near a computer. So I honestly I put it in my cart and within a minute of going into checkout, it was it was taken out of my cart. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of people were saying it sold out in two minutes. For me, it was less than a minute. I mean, I don't understand it, and I understand now that people are getting. Certain people are getting advanced access to uh, some of these games. I'm, really, I haven't heard no that. Names. Yeah, I've, I've I've heard talk that certain uh, certain people are getting advanced access, and that's why they're selling out like they are. Hmm. I wonder and, if uh, they might be giving priority because they want to make sure that certain people end up getting copies of these games so that they can maybe talk about them for promotional reasons. Yeah, I don't. I don't know names of the people who are getting them, but I've talked and I, which, uh, I think that that's kind of shitty. <laughs> which that would surprise me if that's what's going on, because Limited Run has announced previously that whenever they do make batches of games, they they make more than what they say they're going to sell. Oh, yeah. Because they, like, they'll actually send copies out to stores and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, they actually do that. As a matter of fact, I think Pink Gorilla Games, that's the store that uh, Kelsey runs, you know, Kelsey Lewin uh, or whatever. She's uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. She's she, she's on some of Metal Jesus videos. Yeah, but uh, um, but yeah, her her store had had uh, is actually gonna be having some limited run games for sale. Recent ones. Yeah, I was talking to Reggie on Monday when we did our video, and I mentioned that out of all of the recent games that they've sold through limited run, one of the ones I was regretful that I wasn't able to get was Oceanhorn. Right. And he's like, "Oh, wait a minute! You know, I hear Kelsey, or yeah, Kelsey might be getting a copy of it, so I might be able to get you you one through her." Nice. So that's that that's that's cool. So, <laughs> and I know they they also have tables at conventions and they have like copies and copies of other games that they have sold in the past available to just buy in the flesh. Right. Which I mean, like I said, they they have some extra copies that they have for purposes like that for promotional reasons, mm. also to replace any games that might get damaged in the mail or go yeah. missing or something like that. So so that's all fine and dandy. But um they are going to be doing things a little bit differently with this upcoming pre-order that they're doing yeah. this week for Ease Origins, which yes, <laughs> I'm actually happy they're doing this. I think this is a really good compromise what they're doing. I think mm-hmm. this is kind of like the best overall compromise they could have made, but even still, a lot of people are still complaining, which I just don't even understand why they're complaining. It's because, of, it's because of the version of the game that they compromised. Which... Th- that's the thing, though. The version of the game they're compromising is the one that they should if they yeah. had to compromise between one or the other. Yeah. But um, and, so, and I'm, I'm in complete agreement that this is the one that they should be doing that for. Right. So essentially what they're doing, like usually when they have a release, they'll announce whatever games are going to be selling. They always sell them at the same time on a Friday, one time in the morning, one time in the evening. And they will do them in like they'll basically split the batches. Yeah, I don't know if they do it exactly in half or if one time slot gets slightly more than the other or whatever it is. But once those sell out, that's it. You know, that's yep. it's done. Your SOL. <laughs> so, but um, what they're doing with this one, Ease Origins, for both the Vita and the PlayStation Four, whenever they go on sale. They're going to have the collector's editions for each of them, which I think they're limited to like 3,000 units each. Yeah. And I don't know if I maybe misread the email um, that I got from Luna Run, but it looked like the collector's edition for the Vita is going to cost the same as the regular. I saw that. I, I'm wondering if they fixed that because uh, I someone pointed it out on Facebook. I do believe today I noticed it. Yeah, I'm sure that's got to be an error, but... Oh, yeah. If... Um, <laughs> You know, it comes to the pre-order time, which we're recording this the day before this goes live, uh, which this episode is is going live by the time it's probably over with. Mm -hmm. But um, 
if that is the case, and it does happen to be the same price that it showed in the email, I'll go with the collector's edition for the Vita. That sounds yeah. fine to me. Why not? <laughs> but if it does turn out to be a mistake, I'll probably just decide, you know what? I don't want to deal with the hassle. I don't want to fight the cart. I'm just going to go ahead and drop an order on the uh, regular edition. Because what yep. they're doing is they're leaving it open for 24 hours. Anybody that orders it is going to get a copy. The catch, of course, is you have to order it within that 24-hour window. Otherwise, you're not getting it unless somebody decides they want to sell their copy on eBay or something like that later. Yep. So I think that's a pretty good compromise because the collector's edition is still going to be a, a rare release. That'll be for collectors, people that just want to have everything. You know, that mm -hmm. they want to have the game to add to their collection. For people that just want a physical game to play, if they can't get the collector's edition, they can still get the regular edition. They can still play the game. That's my plan. <laughs> so I think that's that's a great compromise. But some people are like saying they're going to boycott Limited Run now because they're doing this one-time thing, which they might they might just be experimenting, you know, because yeah. you never know if the next several runs that they're going to do are going to be like the traditional model they've done. I know the the other game that they're releasing tomorrow is was it As Divine Hearts? Yeah, it's like a mobile phone and, RPG. Who cares? Yeah, and, and yeah, <laughs> but I mean they're doing the standard thing with that, right? Yeah, which yes, uh, I, I, with that one, I'll be shocked if it sells out that day. Yeah, I know. I know. N plus plus didn't sell out immediately. I know it was available hours and hours after. Yeah, yeah, it was, <laughs> they went on sale. I, yeah, I think that one finally sold out like a couple of days ago. So yeah. it, it's actually been on sale for several days before it sold out. So but, I mean, I like this. I like this pre-order idea, especially for this game, because I know this one is going to be the one that is quite popular. Because I mean, it's this long-running RPG series. Yeah, and it's so a, it's a series everyone has that, a chance to get it. It's a series that back in the day was never popular here. No, um, but it's kind of started to build a reputation. It's kind of been growing here. Thanks and to now, the happy console gamer. <laughs> he's, a, he's definitely contributed for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it, it's, it, it'll be interesting to see. I really, I hope Linda run announces what their final sales figures are with it. Mm -hmm. Cause it'll be interesting to see what kind of actual demand that they have for like a, a fairly big size release for them as opposed to what they have been selling you know, because maybe they're using this as data to see if they can gauge how many units they should make to where they can make as many people as possible happy. Yeah, I mean, the whole name of the game is making money. But at the same time, remaining limited, I guess. Yeah, I mean, so. I don't know. It's it's a cool idea. I hope they do it for a few more just to try it out. But I mean, I would, like you said, I would love to see what like the final tally is, how many copies were pre-ordered. Mm -hmm. in the end yeah you know it'll be really strange if it ends up being a small number like if some if like if they say they only sell like 4500 or something like that the regular edition i'll be mm -hmm. like that's really strange because <laughs> yeah. that's like less than what you sold for night trap and wonder boy and those sold out in minutes yeah so, but you know it'd be interesting to see what happens with that and what i what if it goes over twenty thousand? Right, then people will be like, oh, it's just, just like a regular release at GameStop. It's no longer... <laughs> but, but then that's not it count, counting that uh, limited edition version. Right. Subscribe to the DP and me on the iTunes. Do now. Get to the chopper. Get cookie down now.